Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Big Daddy Mo. Now, seeing as how Fast 9 is coming out next week, and Fast and Furious is one of my favorite action franchises of all time. I mean, it's... The movies, the movies go hard, man. Screw, screw the, you know, disbelief and all that. It's like, it's a movie. You know what I'm saying? Shit's going to happen. It's going to be stupid. But it's one of my favorite franchises. <clears throat> Sorry, my favorite franchises. So, I plan on reviewing every last movie, even Hobbs and, Sh Hobbs and Shaw. I already did Faded Furious. So, you know, I'll throw a link in for that one. But um, let's get it started with the very first movie, The Fast and the Furious. So, basically, it's an undercover story. Um, Brian O'Connor, played by Paul Walker, is infiltrating Dominic Toretto, played by Vin Diesel and his crew. In order to get in good with them, he has to become a street racer. And, yeah, that's it's basically point break. Keanu Reeves is an undercover, um, you know, undercover cop. And he has to infiltrate the bag, um, the the bank robbers, and you know the 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 main bad guy is played by Patrick Swayze. And in order to do that, he kind of has to like learn how to surf and do this and do that. Nobody says that Point Break is a surfing movie. It's an undercover movie. It's a crime movie. So I just want to get this out. Let's stop saying Fast and Furious should have stayed a street racing movie because let's be real. What more can? You, if it was, if they did like just have you know street races in every movie it still wouldn't really be a street racing movie because it's still going to have the main plot of something. Example, the second one, there was a lot of street racing, but the main story is this undercover. It's Brian O'Connor going undercover. Street racing is in the background, really. It's just there for some cool action scenes. So let's stop saying, well, Fast and Furious should have stayed an undercover movie. Nah. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me do that again. Fast and Furious should have stayed a street racing movie. Shut the fuck up. Just watch the first three then. Just watch the first three if you feel that way. But, yes, it's an undercover movie. And Paul Walker, I thought, was um, cast. Um, I thought he was cast well. I, I like Paul Walker a lot. I like his persona. Um, he can whoop ass when he needs to. He can be that, uh, I don't know. Not, I'm not going to say weak, but it's like, you know, Vin Diesel is, Vin Diesel is here. Okay, Vin Diesel is here. But uh, but Brian O'Connor, um, Paul Walker is a badass too. But he still is, 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 is he still like right there. So it's like he can be the soft guy and he can be the tough guy when he needs to be. Uh, Vin Diesel, yes, this, Vin Diesel. This this role probably made his career. This this like you know Triple X. Like honestly, like this Triple X, uh, Triple X, Pitch Black. Vin Diesel was whooping ass. Vin Diesel was getting in the early two thousands. So, uh, yes, Vin Diesel, you know, he's he's dope as hell here. But the street racing, though. I might as well talk about the street racing because there's a lot that's going on with that. Uh, I'm sorry. I just get I just got from the movies. I'm tired as hell. It's it's kind of late. So I'm, like, wired. I'm, I'm, like, I'm kind of, like, all over the place. I'm a little wired. I'm also tired. So I'm sorry if I'm stumbling over my words. But um, anyway, the street racing. Street racing is cool, but really, it's really just straight shots. <laughs> it's straight shots. It's not like the other movies where they sit there doing all this, going up here, jumping the bridge. Every race in this movie is just a straight shot. Now the first, um, now the race where um, Paul Walker is, you know, do, does his first race against Dominic Toretto. Don't get me wrong, the race is still entertaining, and it's you know, I mean, with Ja Rule, you know, trying to win so he can get a, a fucking um, threesome. I love that, but the races are not really all that great. Just just going down the street, just going a straight shot. So, I mean, action, yeah, action-wise, it's not really that much action. I mean, you have, like, a fight scene, uh, a shootout here and there, but it's still a pretty entertaining movie. I mean, they don't really, in this movie, they don't really focus hard on the, the family like they do in the later movies, but Dominic Toretto, you can tell he's still all about family. He's still the people that he love and trust the most. He keep them together, you know what I'm saying? They always doing things together. So I love when they have, um, you know, Brian is now into that circle because, of course, it's an undercover movie. So the cop is going to be conflicted. It's like, okay, I care about these people now. What do I do? So to really sum it up, it's, it's, your, it's your normal undercover movie, you know, except the backdrop, you know, everything in the background is just street racing. Paul Walker and um, Vin Diesel, they, they do a great job. And honestly, the two of them together is what make this franchise great. Like, the second Vin Diesel left, you had Too Fast, Too Furious. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when Paul Walker passed away, we had Fate of the Furious. Mm -hmm. Honestly, 
you can tell that you need both of them because the second the other one is gone, then the movie's not the same. So their chemistry together is what makes this movie. So to wrap it up, I'm going to say The Fast and the Furious, it's a dope movie. It's it's really good. It's really enjoyable. The cars look great. I mean, it's a cars and girls is what we get in the movie. It all looks great. So check it out. This is definitely one of the better movies, especially of the earlier earlier films. But um, yes. So The Fast and the Furious, if you've seen it, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And get ready because, I'm like I said, I'm about to be pumping out reviews for every Fast and Furious movie. So I got to I gotta jump in and watch them all. Luckily, I still remember, you know, remember like all, all the really, really good ones. So I'm fine on that. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching. And while, you, you know, while you're in the comment section, please like, share, subscribe. Check out my other videos. I really appreciate it. And as always, I will see you all next time. Peace.